good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this, and welcome back to Tech It. So I'm standing here, as ever, in my base, thinking of the wonderful new things that I need to build. Uh, I've removed all of the obscene water nonsense that I built before I understood it, and I've replaced it just with more of these with a little bit of upgrades, hopefully trying to slowly and surely uh, work out the right balance to remove the need for the fluid export buses, so that I'm slowly reducing the amount of water that I have in here. And then as I get close to low water, I will up some of these with more abilities. Don't really know if I need to have four inputs, but I just like the way it looks. Keeps it all symmetrical, you know. I like a bit of symmetry around my uh, around my base. But today, I want to start utilizing all of this quite ridiculous power. So what I want to do with my ridiculous power, hopefully it's quite obvious, is I'm going to want to build some more laser drills and laser drill precharges. Hopefully to get me plenty more ores and just basically continue my unnecessary assault on the uh, amount of resources I have access to. So I need a laser drill, which requires uh, glowstone illuminators. I'd forgotten about these bastards. Cock. So the chance of me having silver nuggets available to me. Uh, we'll make 63 because that seems illogical. It means I've got 64 in total, can't complain. So I'm going to need one of these for the drill. One, two, three, four pre-charges. So it's nine per setup. What have we got in you? Oh, result. Forgotten I already had you set up. Brilliant. So if I make another nine of these, I can easily make the two pre-chargers, wrong one, that I want. Uh, I need to get some more glowstone, because apparently we are going to run out pretty sharpish if I don't sort it all out. So that'll do for nine of them. So let's make the pre-chargers. So I need one, two, three, four of those to run out of plastic. This should not be a problem for me, as I have been burning through my rubber pretty much continuously. So four pre-chargers. And I am short on redstone reception coils. Let's just make a stack of them, because there's no reason why I can't have a stack of them. I use them all the bloody time. How many close to illuminated do I have? Oh, just one. And the three that are in there. Okay, so we'll leave that to sort out. Or we go and try and marshal the first one. So I'm thinking what I should have is underneath each turbine will have the laser drill that it's powering. And then this bank of power will be the surplus power. So we'll hopefully take all 20,000 needed to run the precharger and drill. And then it'll put the rest into those. That's the plan anyway. So obviously we'll want to go for symmetry, oh, and I need a mining well, which I don't have. Okay, so that's going to be simple enough, I hope, to create. So if we dump that into there, we need to grab a mining well. Oh. I'm pretty sure I'll put the gears in. What else is missing? iron pick which again I'm getting the system set up to craft so there's me mining well problem solve video okay so how much is the gap between these two so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine so if we have one two three four there, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Means it's this row here. Obviously you want to put it in front of the center. So we have one there, one there. And so I can access the controller nice and easily. So I need to put this down here and power it. And it'll blow a hole through to the centre of the earth. Not the neatest thing I've ever done, I will be honest, but it's efficient. As efficient as needs be. 
Okay. I have to dig that up, aren't I? Not sure what I just did then. Come back. Got it. Okay. So if we take a piece of the cobblestone that I picked up, put down the laser drill, and then we put down our pre-chargers. One, two, and three, and four. All we need to do now is power them. in a way that looks pretty damn awesome. Uh, do I want to bring them together into the middle and go up to one, or should I just put them up? Let's bring them together for a second. Like so, put that up to there, like so. Boom, full power. Boom, working away. So let's get an ender chest of efficiencies. Oh, that was quick. Dump all of this in there as appropriate. And hopefully that will sort it out. Yes, it does. So there we have it. This is obviously not going to be doing anything other than taking in more power and trickling out the power that needs to trickle out. It's only the bottom row they're trickling out, is it? So they're all still fully powered. So we need to repeat this again. So we'll put it in the middle. In the middle. We will be a little bit more efficient with the mining laser at mining well this time. So that we can ensure that everything goes to plan. Because I can put this on top of here. I could, put, I could have put it on the side, but oh well. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. So this is a pain to pick up, apparently. I don't know why it's such a pain to pick up, but it is. And we can then get the wrench and just boom, boom. Boom, boomity boom, those ones out of the way. Okay, so we'll quickly throw that down again and run up here. I do intend to make this hole symmetrical because it irritates me every day that it's not. So nine more of them means we can make some more. Well, another laser drill and four pre-chargers. Put the laser drill smack bang in the middle of here, and we can put our four prechargers a one, two, a three, and a four. Don't know why I swapped the other two round. I can go on top, and we can then look to get this all pimpy out. It's going to start a bit skew if for a second, but we'll get there. And one more. Not there. Ugly bastard. Oh, that hurt. So that was good. That means that it's working, as good as that means. So we now have this ticking away. So we have three laser pre-chargers. Sorry, three laser drills set up now one for each turbine so these require and should be drawing 5000 per tick each oh no it's not 4100 4100 4100 4100 4100 oops press the wrong button so if i cut this off for a second does that hit 5000 again now 5250 a bit excessive. So, uh, interesting. So 
So why does that have that power there? Oh, that one's gone off, off. Did I click it with a wrench by mistake? No. What the flipping hell's happened here? So these are both producing 20,000 RF per tick, which is more than sufficient to power each of these bad boys. But it's just not interesting. I wonder if I have to supplement it. Might have to put a tesseract onto uh, onto each. Hmm. Well, 4,100 is not too bad, I suppose. It's more than sufficient to get me what I need. But it just means I'm not quite utilising the power as I'd intended. So I'll have to have a look at... Uh, what can I do? I, could put, I suppose I could put... Uh, well, I only need to do 5,000. So if we did sell... Is it a redstone that does 2,000? Two, no, uh, the redstone does 2,000 per tick, and the resident energy does 10,000 per tick. So, I don't really have a choice. What do I? As far as inputs go, this bank here is massively absorbing all the power. So we could, as an experiment, take four of these like so knock the four corners out oh that one got burnt up of these and why have I got one so it's the back one which is the input and it's the bottom that's the output there's 5000 RF per tick so what does this now tell me it's getting 5000 what's this doing maxing out perfectly so again Nope. 5,000 per tick. Five thousand per tick. Oops. And five thousand per tick, I would hope. Five thousand. That's steady. So it works that way around, that's fine. Give it 6,000 per tick, so I just fill up to the top now. Ooh, come on. Take it down again. Does it start going down? Nope. So if I wanted to be uh, extra pretty, I'll just put it up to 6,000 for a few ticks, you know. Get it all filled up nicely. And then once it's nicely filled up, bring it down again. This is happily taken away now. So that's a pretty efficient way of doing it. That makes a little bit more sense. And obviously I can use these if I ever need to as a backup because there's still going to be more power than is humanly needed by anyone that ever exists under any circumstances over here. So it's an elegant solution to a relatively simple problem. And it's all about maxing out the amount of power that I generate and provide. Oops, wrong one I clicked to my laser drills to make them maximally efficient. And there's no reason not to because everything is super organized and efficient now. Like so. So that should make all of these 
super organized and efficient. Max all these out nice and proper. This is ticking forward. Sweet. So how does that look? Pretty crazy. That is pretty awesome. Now, I couldn't put more than one, I suppose. I could put two pre-chargers per cell, but that wouldn't look as nice. This looks organized and well-arranged and color-coded and awesome. Fantastic. So that's going to be rinse in my system now then, isn't it? So no power is being drained out of here still. I'm taking, oh, it's going down. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Why is it going down? So I need to balance the number of cells over here a bit better because I'm assuming these are maxed out. Okay. So the upstairs, the upstairs uh, precharger is the problem too demand and resource heavy so let's just quickly run in here uh, there we go and we'll just briefly for the experiment purposes turn you off and then fail to get the door because that's a standard thing with that door apparently it's impossible to use so that should prevent the draw of 20,000 should see these continue to drop hmm that one's going up. Yeah, that one's going down. That one's going up. That one's going up. That one's going up as well now. Stupid. What? This one's just racing down. Oh, because I haven't configured that half. God. Such an idiot. I suppose I only need to configure it to accept slightly more than it puts out. And that means I can oh, I can marshal it that way. Uh, so I go so if I allow all of these taking five thousand one hundred RF That will be all it's allowed to do. And that way, it will continue to increase. But it will never, obviously, it will then all the rest of the power has to go elsewhere. Ah, genius. There we go. It's almost like the configuration features of these were designed to allow customization. So 5100 means that now that you're powered up you will only draw the power that you need just to keep the energy drill power sufficient fantastic so that should put an extra 1000 from each of these two into the system every tick so that's 2000 that'll be 4000 from that and I'm guessing I need to work out in a bit more detail how much power is coming into here from the bioreactors. Now it's not going to tell me because it's all maxed out, it's going to say zero. 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 And 1491. Now I don't believe that for a second because I'm assuming you're all, all maxed out. So if I turn you off, you don't go down. Awkward and annoying. Um, is there any? There is empty one. Good. So this will allow me to conduct an important experiment. Let's chop you off, and we'll put you down here, and we'll test how much you're getting in. So Eight thousand. So we have ten thousand surplus RF available to us across our network which is obviously an extremely high number. 
So 10,000 RF available, which is going to then increase to... Well, we can put an extra laser drill down with two... Two chargers, I suppose. So yeah, power is awesome. But that's brilliant. That's exactly what I wanted to achieve in this episode. What I wanted was to set up some more of these laser drills and pre-chargers to massively, hopefully, increase my resource pull. Now, I can obviously use the uh, filters to focus these, or focuses, if I wanted to. Maybe, obviously, try and target my main missing resource, which at the moment is uh, quartz and certs quartz. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you continue to enjoy the series. And as ever, look how crazy technical we're getting now. Look at these machines, bad boys. Right, guys, hope you enjoyed. Bye for now.